Parents, political groups, and even religious groups often challenge controversial books in an attempt to get them banned. During Banned Book Week, local libraries display these books to assure access to them is still available. The ones that tend to um, get most challenged or banned are usually ones that um, have um, like sexual references in there. Um, they have LGBTQIA um, plus topics in there. The books that are challenged to be banned must go through a process and then a decision is made if they are to be labeled banned. If someone is offended by a book, they can notify the library and then they will submit a form to the American Library Association. Once they review the form, then it is determined if the book is to be labeled as banned and reclassified. Most of the time when this happens, it's because the subject matter may not be appropriate for where the book has been put originally. For instance, if we have a book in children's and they say, you know, the subject matter is a little bit too mature for that. What we do is we often reclassify things and we'll put it in another area. According to the American Library Association, books that are a challenge occur in public schools and libraries. Parents, patrons, political groups, and religious groups are the ones that tend to challenge books the most. But libraries, like the ones in Kern County, want to assure that the public still has access to them. Here at the Kern County Library, we love serving everybody, and we really look forward to being able to help as many people as possible by providing information about as many sides of issues as possible, because the more informed you are, the better decisions you make. If you're interested in checking out a banned book, you can visit your local library to check its availability. In Bakersfield, Henry Flores, 23ABC News, Connecting You.